not your own. Taking someone else's work and claiming it's your own work without giving them any credit. If you've copied someone else's work without referencing it. 50% maybe? I think, you know, it's a minority of students. Maybe like not even 1% I hope. 30%. So. Yeah, it's not above 20%. <laughs> That's a good sign. Yeah, I think so, with proper referencing. Yes, I think it can be avoided by referencing. Yeah, definitely. I've been at uni for five years now and I have never once been uh, caught up or even slightly caught up on plagiarism. Most students will be worried about plagiarism. All students. <laughs> Here I'm just going to read a story from a student about her experiences of plagiarism. First of all, this student was accused of plagiarism and received that confirmation for an email. When this student was accused, she thought that, the, that they were wrong essentially because she wouldn't do anything like that. In this particular case, this student had their marks capped for their essay and if there are severe cases of plagiarism, this could go to a university disciplinary meeting. So when we asked the student how they felt about the accusation, they said that they felt embarrassed and stupid because they felt like it was an honest mistake that they made in relation to paraphrasing of some work. If you are ever accused of plagiarism, it is important to seek support and representation. You can speak to ASK on the ground floor of a student's union, consult with your personal tutor, or visit SSDS or workshop with a student learning team. Plagiarism can be avoided, and sometimes students do make honest mistakes. So it's important to get that guidance to prevent it from happening again, but also to ensure that the outcomes of any disciplinaries you go through benefit you. Don't wait till it's too late!